Hey everyone, this is Melvin from CODUtility.com and I'm here to give you guys another tutorial for the uh, Black Ops 3 mapping and modding tutorial series that I've been working on. Uh, this tutorial series will be, uh, or at least this part of the of the series will be a zombie specific one. This is for zombie zones and doors. So it's a little bit of a bigger one. So we're going to try and get to it right away. But first off, I'll say that we're going to be explaining zones at least a little bit. Uh, we'll also be, you know, this is in no particular order in this one because things go back and forth. Uh, but anyways, um, if you follow through, you should be able to get it. Anyways, uh, explaining how doors work in Radiant and um, building a zones and doors. Now, I've already built the pieces, but you guys will, uh, I'll show you where to get them. Okay, so um, what are uh, zones? Uh, as I quickly close a couple things here. Um, what are zones? Let's get to uh, Radiant real quick. Okay, now as you see here, what are we looking at? This is alleyways. This is the map I'm working on for the uh, zombie stuff, as you can see. Now we're in F9 mode, so you can kind of see it looks a little prettier. But we've got a lot of stuff hit, uh, here that's hidden. Okay, so once we get out of here, you can see, well, I'm looking right at a zone. This is zone, the first zone for for my map here, and I call it Start Zone. But for our example, we're going to do it just a little bit different naming convention, so you guys can see it plain as day. Okay, so first off, as you can see, this is the zone door, or this is the door for alleyways. And this is a very simple door, believe it or not, even though you can see a lot of lines going to a lot of different pieces. This door basically just goes to the right. Uh, you can do other doors, like I've got in here, that do, uh, uh, like, open one goes to the left, one goes to the right. That's just reversing a certain value, and I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but, okay, so first off, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to... Um, now, you can copy and paste. When you start from the template, like I showed you guys before, uh, you guys will get an initial volume. You can take that volume, you can copy and paste it and rename it, or you can go to the entity, br entity browser and you can come in here and you can type in uh, info and then that will come down here and you'll see in info uh, volume right here. Right click on that, toggle it to your favorites like I showed you guys before and um, you'll be able to go right click anywhere and add the info volume. Now the info volume has to have a few um, KVPs. Now, what are KVPs? KVs are key value pairs. So there's a key, there's a value, they're paired together, and uh, we access them through the uh, entity info window, and this is by pressing N. So press your N key, bring up your entity info window, and you'll see right here we only have target, uh, right now I've already taken the liberty of adding the target name to it, which is for this one, um, hold on a second here, make sure these are right. This one here would be, oh that's number two, and I need this one here to be, um, Touch zone underscore start if I put it correctly here. Yeah. So let's do that right now. We're going to change that name to touch zone underscore start. Hit enter. We've got our first thing. So um, first off, what we need to do is we need to find uh, what what are the what are the uh, KVPs for the zones. So first off, we're going to create uh, the two zones, and then we're going to add their KVPs. So you want to create your one zone like I did before. I right click on it. Oh, add your info volume. Drag it to whatever size you want. Okay, and you're going to do the same on to another one. And then you're going to select it and you're going to enter the values I just entered, which is the target name. The first one will be tut zone underscore start. The second one will be tut zone underscore. Oh, I had both of them selected again. <laughs> this one's good. We can name it together. And this one here will be tut zone underscore two. Okay, they hit enter. Now we've got our zones named. That's a good thing. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to enter the, um, the value script underscore noteworthy again this is going to go into both zones so you can for this one you can select both zones you can go add kvp and you can add property oh sorry uh what is this one here this is yeah script noteworthy i'm going to type i'm going to paste that in and then the value we're going to talk talking to this one or to the value we're going to enter into this one <laughs> player underscore volume i gotta turn my volume down actually myself it's a little bit loud i can't hear myself Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to hit the enter, and both of them should now have a player underscore volume, sorry, a player underscore volume um, value. Okay, so secondly, or third, lastly, sorry, for the zones, we're going to have to target our spawners, and we'll get into spawners in a minute. Now, you guys see those spawners all around you when you look at your template? Those spawners have a target name, or a target, and it's probably going to be something like start zone underscore spawners. Uh, but for this tutorial, the first one here on this left side here, will be add a, um, this one, sorry, we're gonna add another KVP and we're gonna go target. Um, gonna hit the uh, tab key to bring us down to the next uh, box to enter the value, uh, tut zone, T-U-T-Z-O-N-E, underscore, start, underscore, spawners. Oh, one more ass. 
Okay, my keyboard's messing up a bit, so if it goes over keys, uh, forgive me, I'll have to do some typing. Okay, so that one's done, and you can see it's going wild. It's looking for, for, for zombie spawners. We're not going to worry about that, because the zombie spawners we'll get to in a minute. Okay, so we'll leave that as a reminder. That flashing thing will remind us for sure. <laughs> so this one here, again, uh, we're going to type in again, target. And it's good to get this down in our brain. So we do it a couple times. It sits in there a little easier. Uh, again, hit the tab key to bring it down. We're going to go touch zone. And then we're going to go um, underscore two, underscore spawners. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can uh, confirm that this is tut zone underscore two. And you're targeting tut zone underscore two, underscore spawners, right? So the, for the spawners, for the zombies, whether they're in a door, behind doors or blockers, or whether they're coming through the ground, or even dogs. Um, I think dogs are a little bit different though. Let me check the dog here. I think this is the dog one. Yeah, this one here is uh, yeah, start zone spawners. You see targeting start zone spawners. So um, yeah, so all these, all our, of our zombie spawners will get a value. So this one here is start underscore zone underscore spawners because the zone in this volume is start underscore zone. And so in here, with this volume here would be two underscore zone. And so all the spawners in here would be two underscore zone underscore spawners. Not trying to patch you with that, but so you get the point. So that so for the same thing goes for here. For this one here, it's going to be uh, tut zone underscore two underscore spawners, right? Okay, and so that's uh, that's going to be on, added to your to your uh, zombie spawners. So actually, we've covered zombie spawners. It really are that easy. There's not much to the zombie spawners. We'll get into setting up the blockers and all that in another tutorial. But uh, for here, you can see you got the start on the target name, and that will make that stay in that or work within that volume. Um, so what else here? There's different um, things you can do or different uh, kinds of, you have risers and you can have spawners, but we'll get into that later. Okay, so anyways, to cut back to this, so now we've got our zone set, our volume set up, as you can see, and they both have two different values, so the target name is telling us, the red is telling us they're both different values and different ones. Uh, we're good to go. Okay, so we're good to go. Now, um, let's see here well. So let's, uh, let's look at the trigger. Okay, the trigger's uh, right here. So for the trigger, we're going to enter these values together because it's, uh, well, there's just, I think, one or two more. So first off, we're going to hit add KVP, and we're going to go into this and type in script, underscore flag. I get that, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what else? Um, okay, this will be, uh, for, for, for this purpose, it's going to be enter underscore uh, touch zone. Yeah, that's right, touch zone underscore two. Now the reason why it says enter underscore touch zone underscore two obviously is because we are going from the first start zone into the sec into the uh, the other zone. Okay, so now we've got that script flag down there. Enter uh, touch zone two, and you can see over here, um, got here script flag uh, enter underscore two underscore zone. So it's the same thing. And this will be used for for all your zones. You know, there might be other ways to do it. There's debris doors, which I haven't done yet, uh, just because I haven't had the time. But uh, yeah, there's lots of different ways to do it, I guess. But uh, you know, this is my first zombie map, so I've learned all this stuff in the last uh, couple of months. Uh, so you know, it's it's not like this is my first rodeo, though. I've made over 100 multiplayer maps. Uh, you know, I can make a map in, in Call of Duty World War of under 24 hours. In this one, not so much, it seems. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'd say this one's a little more complicated in the sense that there's more stuff to add. You can do more, so you can fill in more. And anyways, that's another story for another day. We're getting off topic, so I'm gonna get back to this here. Okay, so back here, add KVP. We're gonna go back to where it says script underscore flag, and uh, we're gonna add another KVP here, and we're gonna do that by going script. In case I didn't say it, yeah, at the bottom right corner of the uh, entity info window, you would hit add KVP. I think I did say that already. Anyways, underscore noteworthy. Oh, noteworthy. And we're going to hit the uh, tab button to bring us down to the next uh, box. And we're going to go magic underscore door. Now, I'm not sure if this one's actually needed anymore because this is from World of War, but I added it anyways. It doesn't seem to hurt anything. So I'm going to leave it alone and uh, just get it in there. The next one we're going to type in is target. And this is going to target the doors. Okay, so the actual door itself. So without the trigger being able to target the door, when you enter the trigger, the doors won't do anything. So obviously you need to target the doors. So the doors are going to be called um, tut zone underscore two underscore door. Now you're going to have to remember that one for, for later. And again, you can click on it to reference it. Okay, oh, and we need uh, one more for this, sorry. We need... Um, 
what is it? Uh, zombie cost. So cost. And uh, let's put the 750 like I got my doors because we're testing. We want it cheap. Okay. So we're going to add that to here. And now we have a working trigger. And that trigger, well, it's almost working. Okay. So what do we need to do? We have these doors here. And these doors are right now just simple brushes. Now you can use models or you can use brushes for this. But they're both going to be separate, uh, slightly sep or slightly different. Same exact process, just slightly different names. Okay, what do I mean by that? Okay, so we're going to hit the Entity uh, Browser again. And this comes back down to my favorites. Now, you guys know how to add these already, so I won't go through that again. Uh, but you can look for two things. One is Script uh, Brush Model, and the other one is Script Model. And you want to add both of those to your right text, uh, context menu. And as you can see here, in my right co uh, click context menu, I have script, script Brush Model and Script Model. Now, Script Brush Model allows you to take simple brushes or complex brushes, like, um, like all of this stuff in here, like this is all separate pieces as you can see uh, and that's all script um, as you can see hold on when I open this here we have multiple selected script brush models and so it allows me to add all the entered uh, values that we'll need to enter to uh, make the doors work now you can do that again with a model by just go right click on uh, say take a model like this here right click on it and go to uh, script model instead of the other one so you want script model for models and script brush models for anything you've made in radiant out of bsp uh or like brushes and patches okay so that being said we're going to select this mo uh this brush here i'm going to select this brush here and again if there were models you would use the model one but we're going to use script brush model by right clicking i'm going to um where is it here it's, i just had a script brush model okay so now that these are script brush models we're good to go so these here, we're going to check the, the doors, make sure they're not overlapping. Yeah, no, they're good. Okay, so you would not be able to walk through these because they're solid brushes. There'd be a gap you could see through or you can close them right up against each other. You can collide them together. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this here, um, this door here, and this door here. And we're going to leave... Uh, actually, let's, yeah, we're going to do a double door to make it easy. Now, you, if you do a single door, you only do one side. Slide it the way you want. But we'll do a double door to make it easier on you guys. Uh, so you don't have to second guess stuff. Um, so for target for the door, you would, uh, what is it? Target name. Hold on. I don't know if there's a target for the door. Let me check real quick. The target for the door. No, no target for the door. So there's only a target name. So we're going to enter a uh, target name. Uh, it would be zombie door. I forget this stuff all the time. Well, I shouldn't say all the time. I'm pretty new to it. This is my first map in... Uh, like, I did play with this stuff in World of War, but this is my first map in, in, in Battle of uh, Black Ops 3, and I took about two years off of mapping. So this, getting back into the tools again was something I... Uh, took me a minute to get into it again, actually. <laughs> but uh, it's fun. I love this stuff. I love investigating stuff and pulling it apart and putting it back together. Started doing that when I was a little kid. Um, okay, so now we've got that then. Now what else is the other door we want? Uh... No, wait, am I on the wrong one here? What am I doing here? Zombie door, that doesn't seem right. No, that doesn't that seem right. Um, yeah, no, that's not right. That's, uh, that's supposed to be... Sorry about this, guys. Uh, girls, everybody. Tut zone underscore two underscore uh, door. Okay, so yeah, that would be the target name. So now there's going to be some user defined ones, and the user defined ones will be um, script string. These are easy, actually. Script underscore string. Oh, string. And script string is going to be move, because you just want to move the door when uh, it's triggered. And then the next one will be the value of how much we want to move it. So this one will be here script vector. And what is a vector? A vector is a, uh, a line. Really? <laughs> Anyways, it's a it's a path in a sense. Uh, well, we all know this from mathematics what vectors are, I guess. I just don't know what they are. I'm dumb like that. <laughs> Anyways, script vectors work. I'm sorry. Okay, I get giddy and tired late at night. Uh, there's an X, there's a Y, and there's a Z value. As we obviously know, as you can see here, the Y would be a cross this way. The X, obviously, this way. And the uh, Z would be up and down. So the value here for, since we're opening these left and right, the value here would be zero for the first one. Then we're going to go for on this side here, we're going to go uh, 120. And then we're going to go zero again. Hit enter. And this door is done. So we could have done the both doors at the same time, which all we did. Okay, yeah. Door. Okay, yeah. We could have done it. And all we have to do here is go into this one here. 
so that this one doesn't slide the same way and block the door. Uh, we just go minus 120 on this, and this will shoot it uh, the opposite direction. Okay, so that's really all there is to uh, to getting doors to work, to getting zones to work, and getting your spawners to work in multiple zones. Now, um, I shouldn't say that's that's almost all there is. The last part is scripting. Okay, so, ooh, scripting is so daunting and scary, but no... <laughs> At least it is for some people. It's actually really realistic. We set it up in templates so that they're they're really easy. And the template they've got really works really well, actually. So I've got the template for our, our the GSC for our file here. And as you can see, this is how it comes when you first get it. And you get this function, under, uh, user map, underscore test, underscore zone, underscore initiate. And where is that? Well, that's uh, that's right here. Okay, user map, test zone, and initiate zones. Okay, level thread, ZM manager, manage zones, initiating the zones. Okay, so what do we need to do? What we need to do is we need to move this around because we want these flags in, uh, initialized and to set. They're always on. We want them for now, or we're going to want them when it comes to light states. So uh, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to do it just a little bit differently. And I'm going to leave this up here uh, for just, I don't know, maybe a count of 10 so you can see what's going on here because you can pause this and change yours. Now, as you can see here, this is set up to the zones I have, which is start zone, uh, which is uh, two zone. But your guys' zones, as we talked about before, are going to be tut zone underscore start and tut zone underscore two. So tut zone underscore two uh, and uh, tut zone underscore start. A little bit different name, but this will help you get familiarized with changing it. Okay, so you might go uh, a couple times like I did when I was learning this stuff. But uh, again, it will help you get faster and better the other stuff in the script don't worry about it for now that is in here just in a sense uh for a free dress explanation okay so for now i think that's basically it you want to have where the blue dots are you want to have uh make sure those are in your initial or added to your gfc if they aren't already initialized zone as you see here where it says start zone that also needs to be changed to tut, un tut zone underscore start and then you should be good okay if there's any problems with the tutorial um Post, uh, go to cdutility.com, post in the threads. I'll be putting this tutorial up either tonight or tomorrow there. Um, or you can ask a question in, in the thread. You're, you're going to get an answer at cdutility.com because I check it every day and the traffic is low right now. Um, and I want to get those, those forms started. So yeah, if you guys can help me post over there, you, ha you help me not answer the question five or six times and let me get into making more tutorials. So yeah, definitely post there. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave comments in the bottom for sure. I definitely want to hear your feedback and I definitely want to hear what you think about the maps and all that stuff. So if you like the video, hit the like button uh, and make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see more and we'll have more tutorials coming up for you and more updates on maps. I'm probably going to have another update tonight if I can get to it. It's already one in the morning. So we're going to try and see if I can do another tutorial on something. I don't know, maybe reflection probes or something. But uh, for now, thanks so much for checking it out. And we'll see you guys again. Girls, everybody, we love you. Peace.